The U.S. Justice Department on Friday released a redacted version of the legal document that allowed the FBI to seize classified government records from former President Donald Trump's Florida home. The affidavit released some new details about the classified documents Trump kept at his Mar-a-Lago home until January this year, from handwritten notes by the president to information about national intelligence sources. It also showed efforts by Trump representatives to claim he had the authority to declassify documents. Of the 32-page document unsealed on Friday, 23 of its pages were largely blacked out, with the text on 11 pages of them redacted entirely. The release also contained a letter from Trump's defense attorney, Evan Corcoran, who wrote to the department on May 25th to complain about the Justice Department's investigation. An August 8th search at Mar-a-Lago marked a significant escalation in one of many federal and state investigations Trump is facing from his time in office and in private business. The Republican former president has suggested he might run for the White House again. The FBI action was part of a federal probe into whether Trump illegally removed documents when he left office in January 2021 after losing the presidential election to Democrat Joe Biden and whether he tried to obstruct the government's investigation. The FBI agent said a preliminary review of the records the archives received in the 15 boxes, which was conducted between May 16th and 18th, found 184 unique documents, labeled as classified. Of those, 67 were marked confidential, while 92 were marked as secret, and 25 marked as top secret.